if there develops any regional childhood variation along the course of the airway that significantly alters its configuration or size, then facial growth will follow a different pathway. And uh, this will lead to a variation in overall facial assembly that may exceed the bounds of a normal pattern. So the net net is, is that this complex stru structure with so many diverse tissues and organs are highly dependent and integrated with each other. So we need to understand that when we're uh, dealing with any one part, the effect, a ripple effect that, that it can have on the entire structure.